Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today this is RJ Dragon, and we will be doing our round 8 footy tips. Uh, first off, to kick off the round, we have Essendon vs Sydney. Um, it's a bit of a tough one. This is my actual tip here, this isn't. Um, but it'll be a tough one. Essendon can't really win Sydney at the moment, especially against the Swans. Swans can't kick goals. Essendon moved the ball quite well. And score with it. So I'm going to tip Essendon. I'll, it'll definitely be less than that. I reckon it'll be 15 points. Um, Sydney will have a late burst trying to come back into the game, but Bombers will be just be too powerful. Next, we have the Bulldogs versus the Brisbane Lions. Uh, a tough game. Whoever wins really um, says a lot about them. It shows that they can uh, compete at the top level and play consistently good football. Uh, I'm going to tip the Dogs in this game and a thriller by 8 points. Uh, just because Norton's form and a couple of other players starting to click together. Next we have Colton, Carlton and Collingwood. Um, this, will be, this won't be a very hard game. The Blues are going to have to work real hard if they don't want this to be an absolute... Um, Brashing. Uh, Collingwood should get the win. I don't reckon by too much. Oh, so I would say Bulldog. Yeah, Bulldogs win by eight. Sorry, I already did that. I'd say Collingwood win by 42 points. Next, we have Melbourne versus Gold Coast and Metricon Stadium. Uh, Demons, uh, favourites, even though away from home. Gold Coast haven't played their best footy in the last couple of weeks. Uh, close to snatching one against West Coast. Um, but I do see um, uh, Melbourne getting the job done over there. That win against Hawthorne will be a lifter. I reckon Melbourne get the job done by 18 points. Next, we have St Kilda and West Coast uh, at Marvel Stadium. St uh, West Coast, I'm not sure how well they play at Marvel Stadium and how they play it, but just off of pure talent... To be honest, I'll tip West Coast by seven points. Next, we have the showdown. Probably close to be, close to be, or to be the best game of this match. Uh, this will be a close game as they have been for the last couple of games. But I do see the Crows being able to beat over Port Adelaide just because uh, the injuries they've sustained in the last couple of weeks. Um, so I see the Adelaide Crows winning by 15 points. Next, we have North Melbourne and Geelong at Marvel Stadium. Uh, Geelong, they'll just be too good. Uh, North Melbourne have worked hard. They're trying to fix some personal stuff down at their club. Uh, North Melbourne, I reckon, will bounce back and do what people were hoping Melbourne can do. I reckon they'll get close to playing finals, if not playing finals. But I'll see Ge Geelong will win quite comfortably. So yeah, I'll see Geelong winning by 30 points. Next, we have Hawthorne and GWS at the MCG. GWS have not been able to play too great against Hawthorne at the MCG. Um, but I do see GWS, the more talented and better side at the moment. Um, so I do see GWS winning unless Alistair Clarkson can pull off some coaching stuff. What he usually does. Hopefully he can uh, do that to get the Hawthorne fans up and about. Even though I'm not too fond of Hawthorne. But I do respect them as a club. And what they've been able to achieve over the last couple of seasons. I mean, last couple, last decade. Um, next we have the Dockers versus Richmond at the Stadium. To be honest. I reckon Richmond will not play too great. Um, the down and... The down in defence, Jesse Hogan hasn't really had a break breakout seat a game yet. I reckon if there's going to be one, with uh, the unexperienced Richmond side and the loss of their very talented defenders, I just reckon Jesse Hogan will go out there, kick six, and uh, have a good day. All right, so that's my footy tips for round eight. So far, I'm uh, I've got half. I've got 50% of the tips right of this season. Um, I should have had not eight last week, but I accidentally tipped Carlton over North Melbourne, where I should have had 
from Melbourne, which would have put me on eight. But as you can tell, no one really picked this one. Pretty of a pretty uh, game, which no one really expected. Well, pro there was actually a couple people who did, but not many people expected it. So yeah, um, I got seven last week. No, the week before started to do a lot better, and hopefully, I can um, you know, start getting some good tips right consistently. I hope you enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Uh, tell me your tips and predictions down in the comments. Tell me what you think of my tips. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.